So I'm Eric Johnson, and um, basically a year and a half ago, I thought, oh, it would be kind of fun to do a sailing ship. Um, it was the first time I wanted to do something kind of the quality of, you know, BrickCon and, and just see what I could do. And so I found plans online uh, for this ship called HMS Enterprise. It was a frigate from the 18th century. It actually has interiors. You can't get to them anymore, but you can see them online if you want to. There's lots of pictures. So it has all the different decks and cabins and fittings and everything. And um, yeah, I just built up the hull. The rigging was an interesting challenge. There's no, I mean, the sails are fabric, um, but there's no metal pieces or rods or anything. It's all, actually I found out rigging is surprisingly effective at doing its job and keeping things straight. It, there's a reason they built ships like that for so many exactly, years. Exactly, it works. And I learned an awful lot about what all these ropes do, so that was kind of interesting. So, yeah. yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, then it got a little lonely once I'd finished it, so I made a little smaller ship to go with it. Uh, originally, it's sort of a privateer from the American Civil War, uh, Revolutionary War, because the uh, Enterprise, that was what it did most of the war, was patrolling. I kind of thought, oh, battle, kind of, you know, same old, same old, not very madness oriented. So then I decided to change it into a fire ship. That was one of the events of HMS Enterprise career was when the Spanish fire ships attacked at Gibraltar. So that's what I ended up displaying. Uh, you have the little Spanish crew trying to get away in heavy seas while the British are trying to come over, put out the fire, steer the fire ship away, alert the rest of the fleet, etc. This is just incredible here, and I love specifically the hull. If you can talk about kind of the techniques you use there and how that worked. There are a lot of different great techniques online for doing hulls. I want to do something a little different, so I decided I'm going to try to tile it, but I'm going to try to use the curved tiles and see how sort of rounded I can make it. Those hulls were really rounded, so it's all, it's all um, plates. You know, tried to gradiate to the actual dimensions of the ship's plans as best I could, and then I stuck the curved tiles on top. And um, it's been an interesting learning experience to see what you know what you can and can't do. It's a whole different set of options than some of the other, you know, ways people use hinges and stuff to do the hulls. So I've enjoyed working with that. And I think you said there's some detail on the inside, but what's kind of the structure like as far as what's holding this together? Yeah, so it's basically um, so at the bottom I did just Technic bricks with plates on top to give it real rigidity at the base, and then it's all you know snotted with plates around the side and then I've got another so then the decks give it a lot of strength so the, you have you know two decks and then they're all connected around the edges as well with you know different different um, you know, bricks that give me the angles I need so it's it's actually surprisingly strong you know if you if you were going to go to the interior which I'd have to take the masts off you pull up the deck plates but there's uh, basically an edge of plates around um, all the way to give it strength um, and you can then pull up one layer to get to the, the second deck and then pull up those those plates to get down to the, the base. Right. And I know you mentioned the, the rigging earlier. What What is the, kind of the main difficulties with that? And what was your technique for getting all those? You know, you've got so many, so many pieces of that string going throughout there. <laughs> yeah, it's just piece by piece. I, I did a lot of studying up what rigging plans were like and what all the different things did. I made a few simplifications, but not too many. Um, there are a lot of people that do some really nice things with dead eyes and stuff that I didn't do. So, you know, it's, you have to sort of pick your battles, which what you decide to do. I didn't want to tile the knots for the rat lines, so those I cheated and I did white glue dots across and then okay. stick the lines across. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, kind of like do f two or four lines a day for a couple of months, I guess. I think they're about 200 lines altogether. And for the, the mini figs on the different boats here, is this anything like custom that you made or pretty much just standard kind of pirate imperial type of mini figs? Yeah, they're mostly pirates. I, I went through and I'm not a mini fig guru. Okay. I picked out a few hats and heads and stuff that appealed to me for different characters, but mostly it's sort of a mix of pirates and uh, a few um, peasants and things from, <laughs> from Castle and whatnot. Right. How would you decide on this water technique? Because I know walking around a convention, you see a lot of different techniques for water. So how would you decide on this one? I wanted to try something different. You see somebody where you have sort of a big pool of the tiny um, uh, round tiles, and I thought I'd do something a little different. So, But I still like the roundness to give it some more flow. So I thought, well, what about bigger tiles and see what happens, and I thought I could do some texturing. And I'm you know, pretty pleased with how it came out. It's, it's different, and I, I, I think it definitely captures some motion. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. And when you move this around, is it all just one piece, or how does that work? It is. It's. I, I. I thought about trying to section it, but really, I'm glad I didn't because it never would have worked with the rigging. But so yeah, the water for the big ship, the water piece comes off into four pieces separately, and then I have a board underneath, um, and then I can lift the board, and the whole ship goes with it. It's not actually that heavy, so yeah. Wow. Well, that's incredible. Uh, I love the build, and I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about it. Thank you.